was like, are we decolonizing or are we indigenizing? And I think decolonizing maybe is like trying to take apart some kind of knot, like undoing these knots, but indigenizing is like just inputting, inputting the powwow dance, inputting the craft, the beadwork, inputting the working side by side, inputting teamwork, inputting all of these pieces that build confidence. And that's really where I want to put my energy. Like, I don't want to have to, like, un really undo things. But I also, after that camp, I was found myself undoing a knot in a rope. And I thought, what does it take to undo a knot? And it's, like, quiet, it's gentle, and it's slow. So it's slowly, quietly, gently. And I, I really think that's how we need to be with the youth. We, we don't need to necessarily dive into that colonial story or, or do things really fast, but it's just like that consistently showing up and being like, oh yeah, let's do, let's make some more art, let's go swimming again, let's play that game again. And that's, I, I, like, I like being a part of this. I like this re-villaging and I, this week I, I just love I love us all to being together and the jokes that come out and the stories and what, what's the theme of this camp. Just by being together and creating this culture of raising each other up with snaps and like raising each other up with compliments and challenging each other to take bigger risks, we're creating empowered young people who will make change in their communities.